Hey there, we are ready for another meal tonight. Um, we are gonna make black bean so uh, soup with avocado salsa. Sounds really good to me, but some of the other ingredients in it my wife will probably turn up her nose at. So I'm just making a single batch. A lot of times I make double batches, um, but tonight I'm probably just making a single batch for me because I'll probably be the only one that eats it. And as I've said before, I'm also, you know, this is a Sunday evening. I'm getting prepared for the week for making lunches and meals and everything. So when we come home from work, we can just heat something up. Um, so in the background, there's also a second batch of butternut squash soup that I made earlier today. So I made one huge pot and now got another one simmering and getting ready to be made over there. So in the meantime, now I'll do the black bean soup and we'll have multiple meals for the week. Okay, so, um, the first thing is, so we're gonna have black beans for black bean soup. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna have some salt and pepper, um, some red sherry, some, uh, for the salsa, for the topping, there's gonna be some lime juice and avocados and some cilantro, some chicken stock. It's not a particularly difficult um, recipe. It's just gonna take a little bit and it's gonna be loud as I mix everything up, so we'll probably come back and forth in you know, the magic of movies. All right, so the first thing we just need to do is make, put in three cups of black beans into our blender. So I've put all, all the beans we're gonna use in here. Um, cause some are gonna be blended and some are not. So um, I've just put them all in here, we've already rinsed them off and drained them. So there's one cup. And two cups. And three cups. And then we put in one cup of chicken stock or chicken broth. Otherwise, if we put the blender on that, that liquid in there, that would not blend very well. It would just be a big mush down there. So, all right, lid goes on. I'll start with like a low speed and then kind of get up to the puree mode. But um, if you put it on puree right away, it's gonna throw everything all over the place. It's gonna throw that around a little bit anyway, but you'll throw it over and you won't get it all mixed up. So I'm just kind of gonna go slow. Pureed black beans, just what we're looking for. Um, so in the meantime now, I've also got two tablespoons of oil in the pot over here, getting all heated up. We're gonna throw in some onions. This is one onion, minced. So minced means chopped pretty much as small as you can get it. Um, we don't want big chunks in our soup. So in goes the minced onion and about a teaspoon of salt, one a teaspoon, and now get that all mixed in together, we're going to let that kind of cook and soften the onions for about five minutes. And then we'll uh, be ready to put in the next bit of ingredients. All right, our onions are soft and oh, flying. So the next thing we need to do is put in about a half cup of sherry. Well, I'm just using red wine. I'm not using really sherry, but red wine will do. So we're gonna put a half cup of sherry in. And what we now need to do, and you can see it's already kind of boiling, um, we're gonna boil this for just a little while and reduce it down until there's only about half of that liquid in there, about a quarter cup of liquid. So we're going to take, eh, it'll probably take three, four minutes to, to do that. So we'll uh, keep stirring it and let it, what they call reduce down to quarter cup. 
All right, we have got that reduced down pretty well. So our next bit here is to add in the rest of the black beans. So there's a total of six cups of black beans. Put three in the blender, and now three here. Three of the puree, which I had poured out into a bowl here. And the remaining, because I used one cup in the, in the blender, so there's another three cups of the remaining part of this in the soup. all that together. Need about a teaspoon of pepper we want in there. Here on our video, but our one of our crazy dogs is barking outside because God forbid there's a dog somewhere in the neighborhood out and about that he can't stand. Well, he can stand it. He just he, he can't stand them being out and about when he's not. He doesn't care about the dog, he just likes to bark. He's he's crazy. He's crazy. Anyway. Alright. Um we're gonna let that boil and simmer for a bit. You turn up the heat a bit. We're gonna let that boil and simmer. In the meantime, I'm gonna make the avocado salsa that we need to make. So we've got we're gonna put all combined about two tablespoons of lime juice. We're gonna put in chopped up avocado, and we're gonna put in some about a quarter cup of cilantro and some salt and pepper. Um, and couple things. First, they're supposed to have radishes in this as well, but I couldn't find radishes at the store because it's the coronavirus rush or something. I don't know that we're, we're in the middle of the coronavirus stupidity going on and there's no, there's no radishes at the store because, you know, toilet paper, paper towels, cleaning supplies, and radishes. That's what you need when you're locked down. I don't know. And now our other dog's going up because the dog is walking in front of us. All right, so the best way to slice an avocado, to get the cubes out of this, is you see that I made little cubes like this. It's gonna be easy to peel off the skin. And I also refrigerated the avocados. A lot of times I'll just leave the avocados out. I like them to be a little softer, but because they're supposed to be cubes, I wanted to put them in the fridge and let them be a little firmer. And I'll show you in a second the best way to do this. But get the little avocado cubes there. So when you have the avocado, the best way to get the cube, so I do a slice down the middle, not all the way through, and then take that quarter and I do another careful slice there, not all the way through the skin. And then another there. And then just go this direction. And make little cross cuts. Now you have little cubes. Well, okay, they're not cubes, I guess, technically. Math mathematicians among you would say that's not a cube, that's a polygon or something, but I don't want to hear it. It's a cube. 
pull those apart. And then I gotta do another one, but I'll show you how the best way to get to that point. So you take your avocado and you slice kind of all the way around it until you've halved it. Gently just grab each half and pops open just like that. And then all you gotta do, I, for the longest time I couldn't figure out how to get this thing out of here without smushing avocado, but it's really easy. Just Ta-da! Look at that. It's like magic. Okay, so I'm going to do this again for, for this avocado. Slice it all up. Um, once I do that, I've got a half of a lime here that I've already done the juice. Got the juicer here. Going to do this half a lime. So two tablespoons of lime juice. That'll go into there, the cilantro will go into there, the cubes go in there, I'll toss it all together. Won't have radishes. Just gonna have to live without the radishes. Put that all there, and then once the soup gets all done up, that just gets sprinkled across the top as, as the salsa to the soup or something. So anyway, we'll be back in a minute when we've got these all cubed and, and ready to mix together. All right, we are back for the last bit of this. Um, it's a fairly quick meal, so hope you pay attention. Um, while we were away, so the soup, I'll tell you that the soup looked a little um, thinner than what I was hoping for. It was, it was very soupy versus, I was thinking a little more, because of black bean soup, I was thinking almost more of a, a cream kind of soup. Um, so what I did while we were away, while you were away, not while I was away, but while you were away, um, I added a little bit of cornstarch to it. and. Best bet is to take some of the soup out, put the cornstarch in, and mix it up with that, and then put it all back in so that it makes a nice little little thicker soup out of it. Or, when you're putting in the extra liquid, the, the three cups of chicken stock, put in one cup, mix it, let it sit, two cups, and go until you just until the desired uh, consistency that you want. So I might have used a little less chicken stock if I had known. Um, but because it was already in, the best bet was to um, go ahead and, and try to add some cornstarch or flour to it just to kind of give it a little more of a, a thickness to it. So, so now we've got all the onion pieces and everything floating around in there. All right, so last bit is, so I've got the avocados cubed up, polygoned up. We're going to put in the lime juice. So I don't want to put too much in, but good. About a quarter cup of cilantro that I've chopped up here. And we'll just take a fork and gently mix it all together. Want to smash our polygons. And they say another oh, half teaspoon or so, a half teaspoon of pepper mixed in, and about the same amount of salt. Together. No radishes, but we'll just have to live with that. Right, so that gets placed gently on top of our soup. When the 
soup is all done. So we have. Check our soup again over here. All right, I think we are about done with our soup. So you see, it wasn't a particularly difficult soup. I mean, it's canned beans. You put them in a blender, put the rest in there, some chicken stock, some salt and pepper, onions. Pretty simple. Um, this is the first time I've ever made this, so hopefully it's good. But we'll find out in a minute because I'm going to go ahead, pull the bowl down. Get a little bit of a spoon here to see I can I can wipe with my finger and put it back in here because I'm the only one eating this. So you just spoon a little bit of this on top it says. Kind of sinks. See that's why I thought it should be a little thicker, because it's just gonna sink. But Throw a couple more in there. Okay, that's our soup. And and now the taste test. Mm. It's good. Good. Excellent. Okay. So there you go. Black bean soup with avocado garnish, salsa, topping mixture that goes in. So that's it for now, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.